Hey, are you ready to go? It's a little gay talk show. Hey, you bitches and hoes, it's a little gay talk show. All tea, all shade. Baby, it's Texas, man. It's that little gay talk show. Hey, we're back. It's me, Mr. Joel Tatum, your host for this episode of That Little Gay Talk Show. Uh, Miss Randy had some personal issues to take care of, so she's not on this week's show. I have in the studio Miss David White. We're not going to sing the theme song because Thank we're going to record the theme song oh, later. Oh, God. I wish to, <laughs> wish to God that would die. Uh, we we're actually thought, thinking about maybe doing a choir. How about or... not doing it at all? <laughs> God, I wish that would go I away. was thinking about getting a Baptist choir to like just, 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 make it sing, stop. just sing David White. Just make it stop. Mm-hmm. Just have some fun with it. Just Say hello to everyone, Miss White. Hello to everyone, Miss White. Mm-hmm. So on today's episode, we're going to get stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that should be easy. <laughs> yeah, which is which seems to be the 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 new thing now. Let's just let's just all be stupid all at once and have a good time with it and not care about the consequences of what that stupidity entails. <laughs> And this all started because of something that uh, uh, popped up on my Facebook page from Ryan. Ryan Toth. Hello, Ryan, in case you're you're listening. Um, It seems... Ryan, if you are listening, all your songs sound like the same thing. (laughs) (laughs) Just saying. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It it seems that, uh, and this might, David, this is going to shock you. Because I didn't know this was a requirement now of of being a gay man. It seems that um, eating pussy is now gay. Ooh, I hate I that know. word. I know, right? I mean, I don't, mi- I don't mind the word. I mean, it is what it is. But, <sighs> you know, I, I thought you'd be more disgusting by the eating part and not the actual word pussy. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's all gross, all of it. It seems that uh, on... Uh, someone's twitter feed uh it was said that uh eating pussy is submissive it's just completely gay and for women I, at first i thought was he i had to do a little bit of research because i had to i'm like maybe he's talking about lesbians that's what i'm thinking and but the more i looked into it the more i realized um no he meant the word gay and we don't this let, is, hold on, let me back up this is Ryan Tosson? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is a Twitter f- here. No, this is a Twitter feed. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the Twitter feed. Uh, that's all right. I just, mm-hmm. just trying to make sure I understood that this mm-hmm. is not Ryan Tosson saying this. No, no, this no, no. Is this is just that, something that he posted on his Facebook picture. And or I he just, retweeted or whatever. Yeah, that I just found the most amusing thing I'd ever seen. It just sounds disgusting and to me. And it's, well, it's, I mean, if that's the new requirement of being gay now, then I could... I'll just turn it on my gay card now. Mm-hmm. Me and you both, girl. Me and you both. We gonna have to call ourselves doing it because we gonna have to call ourselves something else. So I'm not doing. It. I ain't doing it. Oh, this is uh now I don't know how to. It's at uh, it's at Ethan from Reddit because uh, I do not know how to pronounce J H I. I don't know why that's a maybe those were initials or maybe, but I don't know how to pronounce that. And he basically says, eating pussy, too submissive for me, it feels gay. Of course, uh, <laughs> an appropriate response from T. Marlin was, this just in, men engaging in sexual activity with a woman is homosexual behavior. Now, from that, I'm guessing that he was not referring to lesbians. He was actually talking about... Straight men and women. He, yeah, well, no, he was basically saying that I, is cunnilingus? Is it is it fellatio or cunnilingus? I think it's cunnilingus. Fellatio? No, it's cunnilingus. He's basically saying that cunnilingus is that sounds almost as bad as eating pussy. Yeah, well, just w- pick one. They're just both, pick one. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> what does either, Shelton on Big we're Bang not Theory gonna, call it? David, <laughs> either either way, we're not going to win on this. So yeah. just pick one. <laughs> it don't matter. They're, they're, they're I know. Right, uh, while you're. I think you're doing what straight people would do if they did go down there. Cause did there sick was a, throw up? No, because there was a lot of tongue coming out oh, of there. Oh, no, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, it sounds like to me that this was more directed at 
gay men then, which didn't make sense to me. I mean, I would think that you would. It still doesn't. When we say now, normally, uh, we don't usually. And l- let's be honest, we don't usually use the term "gay" when it comes to women that much. We use it mostly when it comes to men. We, we, I mean, it's lesbian when it mm-hmm. when it comes to women. So, well, I there am, are some women who, who consider themselves. Gay. Well, yeah, and a lot of them consider themselves queer and all this yeah. other stuff, but. From reading, like I said, from reading, and let me tell you something. I went on his Twitter page. First of all, he smokes way too much weed, way too much weed, and uses the N-word so much it's ridiculous. Now, I uh, am not opposed to black people using the word. I mean, he is black. I just wanted to make that clear. He is black, but I'm just not one of those black people who, who likes to use the n-word i just i don't like to use it i don't even like to use it a, around other black people and to be quite honest when other black people use it uh when i'm having a conversation i actually feel uncomfortable with it i don't say anything because usually that turns into oh that turns into a shit show right there yeah, it would be one of those things where I hear it and it's like, I'm, out of, I'm not a part of the conversation. Mm-hmm. I stay out of it. You know, I'm mm-hmm. business, but I Which gross, actually so. makes me sound a little white sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, my grandmother uh, was the type of woman who told me that that is not an appropriate word to use at all and didn't understand why other black people liked to use that term. And of course, this is a woman who grew up hearing the negative connotation of that word often mm-hmm. so for other black people to be using it she could not understand it and it was pretty much instilled in me that i would never use that word and i think in my entire life i think i've used the word three times <clears throat> and in fact i know that my brothers you use the word but they don't use it they don't use it are they talking <clears throat> to each other they use the word uh or? no they don't use it as often as you would as you would think, they like to think of them. Well, especially with my brother Michael, he likes to. He's he's the blackest person on the planet, and uh, you would think that he would use the word quite often, but he doesn't use the word quite often. I don't mm-hmm. think. Yeah, I don't think me or my brothers use it that often. I, I use it. Like I said, I've used it three times in my life, and that's only because the situation might have called for it. <laughs> A situation where that would call oh, that. Like, there was okay, a couple. Oh, there were a couple of times. Okay. <laughs> oh, there were a couple of times where it just, I just, I, I heard it come out of my mouth, and I'm like thinking in my brain, going, "Okay, this is the only time." <laughs> you know what I lived in, and it is, uh, it is quite appropriate you know, at, at, at at this time. When but, I lived in Baton Rouge. People call each other that mm-hmm. all the time, I know. and I'm just like. Just cringe mm-hmm. when I hear it. It just mm-hmm. drives me crazy. I went through, like I said, I went through uh, at Ethan from Reddit's page, and I got to tell you, every it was everywhere. And I'm like, I actually cringed going through his Twitter page. I just wanted to know why he would think that submissive and gay would so be is something. Is this guy straight? He's straight. So oh, he's straight. Oh, trust the, me, he's straight. Because how is he in a position to say what's gay and what's not? If I, he's, I mean, I'm trying to. I'm trying to wrap my. Are you? If you think you're trying to wrap your head around it, think mm-hmm. about me reading it, going, "What? What is this?" Do me a favor. Don't read him anymore. <laughs> I mean, this guy just sounds like no, an no, ass. no, no. And it's like I said, it's not something that. Look, I wasn't going out. This wasn't something. No, I, I, yeah, no, you didn't go looking for it. it I didn't go. You, it came this guy to just you. sounds like a dick, though. Mm-hmm. I know, and trust me, some of it, he's. You know what gets me though? We have thirty-seven followers. He has three thousand. What the hell am I doing wrong? He has three thousand followers. And That's you know, the, going to change though. Yes, that that will that will change. But the thing is, is that I'm looking at his page, and first of all, a lot of the guys on there, when it comes to women, mm-mm, these are how do they get women? These are some ugly. No, they're not ugly. It's what they say that's uh, ugly. They say some horrible <laughs> things about women. Horrible. And you know what? What I find fascinating is that even though they say horrible things about women, there are a lot of women that are posting on this page. Well, I was going to say, there's, you Why? know, there's some. There's and they're some shaking their asses and showing off yeah. their tits and all there's this other some stuff. Some women that want to be that. That's and I'm like, um, 
This guy ain't none of my business. Let me let me. I I, I kind of wish Singh was here, and hopefully we'll have her on next week. And we're going to talk about this a little bit when she comes back <laughs> up, because I need to get I need to I need to investigate this a little bit. The thing is, is that I'm not a heterosexual man. Uh, really, really Are you sure. I'm 100 percent sure about that. <laughs> uh, so uh, the thing is, is that I would think uh, as a requirement for being a heterosexual man, if you're going to date the opposite sex, that going down on a woman would be the a requirement. I mean, if she has to do it for you, I mean, no, I mean, there's some I mean, guys who won't do that. I, I mean, know. it's just. It's but just, why would you ask her to do? That's what doesn't make sense to me. You're you're gonna ask her to do that? She, she, you think she wants to go down there? Okay, so like, look at like, <laughs> see, it's the same way with gay relationships. Gay relationships. Mm-hmm. I mean, some guys won't do, mm-hmm. won't suck dick at all, mm-hmm. but they want their dick sucked. It's just it's just mm-hmm. a, a preference of things, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, Everybody's different. Mm-hmm, and I get that. For me, that's not going to work. I'm sorry. Uh, that's not going to work. You need to be able to... Do, you're in bed with a man. You need to do all the stuff that you need to do in bed with a man. Don't sit up there and tell me that you don't do that. Yes, you do. If you lay it in my bed. It doesn't make, it doesn't make it any less gay because they don't do that. <laughs> well, it doesn't make anything less gay, but it just, gay seems, less gay. It, it just seems to me that it takes it... Doesn't... For me... I'm in bed with a man. I think we should just have fun. And we should explore each other's bodies and do all other stuff. And I realize that some men have certain conditions. <laughs> okay, go with that. It's the top and the bottom thing and all this other stuff. So I, I realize that some, I mean, one of my conditions is not to be ever peed on. I mean, that's just one of my conditions. I don't want so, you to so do you, that. You have restrictions, too. Yes, I have restrictions, so, and there's I mean, nothing wrong with think, that. I don't think that's abnormal. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's abnormal. I just, I just, for me, the idea of you asking me to do something that you wouldn't do seems, I don't know, it just, I, I don't want to say hypocritical, it just, just doesn't seem right. Why would you ask me to go down on you if you're not going to do, if you're not going to reciprocate, and I don't understand why, and, I, and like I said, there. By the way, there are some gay men, and I have a lot of experience. Uh, there, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> but there are some men who only Smart. like to do that Whore. and don't like oh. don't like reciprocate. <laughs> I am not going to be slut shamed on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Simply because I haven't been a slut in a while. So I need to up my slut game because uh, one of my uh, my other host uh, it seems to be doing well on a new app that he discovered for the bigger boys. And uh, he's having fun doing that. He's been talking. He's created an app or he found an app for bigger okay, boys? Okay, you know we're talking about Randy. I, oh, I, no, I, I did not no, even. I wasn't thinking yeah, about that. I okay. did not. I don't. I don't understand where you thought the, that Randy would be creating anything on a computer. I, did, or no, I didn't know. We were talking, I thought we were talking about somebody else. So anyway, my other hosts. Oh, let me. You said one of your other hosts. So yes. I thought we were talking about somebody. No. Okay. Miss Rand. Miss Randy <laughs> is currently having a good time on an app called Bigger City, which is an app for chasers and and uh, big boys. Okay. And uh, he's currently, he actually has a date. Big city. Uh, uh, bigger city? Bigger city. I, oh, I think I have it on my phone. Oh, I actually you had have that on your phone. Because I had. He, I know the queen like it, knows. That ain't it. The queen knows how to look up porn. That's the only thing the queen knows how to do. That's what you know how to do? Or no, that's what her. she knows oh, how to really? do. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's what she knows how, how to do. How does she find porn up in the business? How does she find, you know what? It's not that hard. A five-year-old I, I can know, find porn I on know. the internet. I'm just how saying. can you even say that? I'm just like, girl, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, yeah, he's having a he's having a good time. Maybe on, that's where he's at. No. Just I think saying. I, yeah, I think I already told you what happened. You did. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to. I don't mind making a little bit of fun of Randy, but we can't talk about that Just part saying. because, you know, <laughs> Just saying. That, that's, that's personal all. family business. But, <clears throat> yeah. Just saying. But he, I think he has a date. So, mm. <laughs> mm-hmm, he has a date. So, I'm like, yay. It's good, for about, it, good for you, girl. Good Go for you. On, bitch. Go Been on the app five minutes. You already got a date. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've been on Growler for two years and I still can't. <laughs> I don't think those things are looking for like, mm-hmm. I don't think they're like, I, I doubt that, uh, oh mm-hmm. shit, how do I want to put this? I'm going to offend somebody. I don't really care. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're probably not going to find Mr. Right didn't on read our... Grindr or Growler, or Growler mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. Um, you might. I could be, I could be wrong. You know. know. I knew of a relationship where they found each other in a bathhouse. Well, I, I know. I've, right met, a I've met guys who mm-hmm. found each other at the mm-hmm. bar, mm-hmm. you know, and went home mm-hmm. for a one night or and been together mm-hmm. 12 years still. I know. And I'm like, what happened in that one night that you decided to stay with him for 12 years? I know. I've, I've met them. I know. They're out there. But anyway. I and know. I know which one you're talking about. It. I'm just saying. I can understand that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because mm-hmm. he came to Houston once and I even went. Damn, I'd, I'd fuck him too. <laughs> He's just got that appeal. You would want to stay in a twelve-year relationship with that man. He is. He he definitely has the appeal. He definitely has the appeal. <clears throat> I, I know that's that's not for you, but no, you know he's, he's my sister. No, well, no. Oh well, yeah, I'm your sister too. But good luck. <laughs> anyway, God, we're way off the subject where we started mm-hmm. to begin with. Uh, no, we're 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 gonna talk Ryan Toff mm-hmm. right? and how his music sounds the same. Huh, Ryan, Ryan Toff. Is that his name? Toff, Toff, whatever the guy. I know who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I don't know what his name is, mm-hmm. and all his music sounds the same. What music is he making? Music, music is... videos. No, no, Ryan Toff is just a friend of mine on. On Facebook, no, who's I don't that know queen who... that I think about on YouTube where he's got his own mm-hmm. uh, YouTube channel, plays and he has videos. What's are, that queen's name? Are you talking about Rich Lux? No, mm-hmm. no, I know he's Houston. To me. Rich, come to yeah, me. Rich It'll Lux, I know is Houston based. It'll come to me. Mm-hmm. Middle of the night, I'll call you the middle of the night. You, know <laughs> <laughs> you realize that the middle, you That's know that the is. middle of the night for you is like what nine thirty? Uh, okay, 10. anyway. <laughs> Anyway. And I'm like, girl, you calling me early. What's going on? <laughs> and the funny thing is you send me a text at 3.30 thinking that I'm awake. Because that's and what time you wake <laughs> up. I you was. told me many a times that you wake up at 3 yeah, o'clock in the up. morning so you can get ready to do your. That's my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can get ready to go to work, so to speak. Yeah. So, to, so, yeah, that's what. So I know that I can leave you a text message at 3.30 in the morning because, well, first of all, I was up. Because <laughs> you hadn't gone to bed yet. Mm-mm. I was just getting Mm-mm. up. Mm-mm. Because I was doing some, I was I was working on our web page. We actually have a web page. Woo So now I don't have Move to sit up, up in the world. Yeah, now I have to tell you to go to nine different places to find <laughs> us or to send us comments or what have you. I don't know how you kept talking about them because they all had different, like, mm-hmm. it's the, the tea talk show. I know. Little, that little game. Because you have to do all. Uh, I know. I be- kept track of it all. Well, for Facebook, they wouldn't do little gay tech talk show. They said that sounded too broad. And I'm like, okay. Uh, so I had to put the T to make that work in front of everything else. Just It just went through, like with Twitter and mm-hmm. Instagram. That was not a problem. Well, Instagram, I had to take out that, and it's only little gay talk. So Instagram would, would allow it, but Facebook <coughs> wouldn't. It's, it's, I know, it's and Zuck, they're both. Zuck runs both of them. Yeah, and Zucker it's owns both, both of them. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I have this, I have discovered that since Tumblr is now gone, they, well, when I say Tumblr's gone, I mean Tumblr no longer shows. It's not rated X anymore. Erotic videos right, right. anymore. It's not X anymore. You, you notice that I, I, I know you can't see it, but I, quotations, erotic. Air, air quotes. Air quotes. I'm trying to think of how, how you would do air, how to sound out air quotes. So-called. Okay. So-called porn. So-called Erotica. Erotica, I'm sorry. Erotica, <laughs> not porn. Okay. So called erotica on Tumblr has now moved to Twitter. And everybody is now on my Twitter page. <laughs> I, I mean, every time I, I'm like, oh, good Lord, what color dick am I going to get today? <laughs> I'm like, what did this bitch do? So 37 th- followers and 30 of them are all OnlyFans videos from guys who love their dicks. A lot. Uh, uh, some of them love their asses too, but okay. most of them love their dicks. I have seen dicks like, you know, there's a culture of locking those dicks up. Ch- uh, chastity, chastity culture. Yeah, chastity yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, That's I the first that. time that I've ever. I, I had read <clears throat> that on one of the mm-hmm. uh, one of the travel forums. Mm-hmm. Some queen had tried to get through TSA with that. <laughs> that was quite the, <laughs> quite the read. <laughs> you had to explain to the TSA agent. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Listen, um, yeah. 
what you do in the privacy of your own home or is trying one to get thing. onto a plane, I guess. But <laughs> when you are trying to get anywhere with metal detectors, you might want to tell your slave to take that off. <laughs> I was just reading the whole thing <clears> just and going. <laughs> to, you no, know, it's like, okay, slave, uh, not at the airport. Because I, I, we have to get make that flight. I don't have time to be waiting mm-hmm. in TSA. Just take it off. <laughs> just look at all the people you're pissing off behind you. I know. I would be pissed. This bitch is wearing what? <laughs> okay, what it is, is. <laughs> and then I have to explain to people, what is he talking about? Oh. Okay, sit down. This is. I'm going to get out the chalkboard, let's, let's go and I'm going to hear. And yeah, because I'm going to have to explain to you what's going on yeah. with this whole thing. Now, that's why. I, that's why I read where what what it was the mm-hmm. whole thing. Mm-hmm. I was. I was like, Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a thing, and I'm like, well, I have discovered more. I'm not, more ways to. Have fun in the bedroom on my Twitter page than on any other page. Oh me. Lord! <laughs> some of Jesus. it looks. Some of it is, by the way, like I said, uh, clipping something onto your dick is not my idea of fun. Like a Prince Albert or a paper? I mean, no, no, no. It's pin, it's like um, it's like one of these metal little oh, holder, you the chastity, the chastity yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 no, yeah no, clipping no. something onto my dick is not I something, something else. No, I wouldn't be something I would be interested. No, in. No, that's not something I'm interested in, or and would nobody, be interested in doing to someone else. And no one owns me. Mm-hmm, exactly. Not uh, ever. And we already know. No. no uh, 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 not with this color skin, ain't nobody owning me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be owning anybody anyway. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so welcome to the twenty thousand, the two thousand. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I love the fact that everybody's not afraid to show what they like on Twitter hey. in in my feed. <laughs> The show feed. I uh, in the in the in the show feed. I'm like somebody said, "Little Gay Talk Show," and went, "I want to show my ass." On little, you know, there was one. I, I hope uh, this might, this might uh, offend some of those with delicate sensibilities. So I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Now, uh, there was one. This video. is probably not the right show to listen to. I know, <laughs> probably not the right episode to listen to right now. But the thing is, is that I was uh, I threw my phone down uh, out of shock because there was a video. Uh, the guy was kneeling on a what appeared to be a roller and something was squirting out of his ass i mean just a, it, i mean just squirt i mean just a lot of liquid coming out of his ass and i went okay this has gone too far okay i don't know what this is <laughs> i literally dropped my phone because i'm like you oh, how do you delete this you <laughs> I'm like, why would you? Let me. Uh, these are gross. Not only are they gross, but I keep thinking, is your mom gonna see this someday? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? That's, I kinda, don't, that's funny. That's not the stuff I'm thinking. I don't okay. think that that would be something that. And these are these are youngins. These are in their their twenties, and all this other stuff. And they're showing up. They're showing up their dicks and asses. They're having sex on Twitter. They're doing all this stuff, and I'm like. I would be worried that my parents might accidentally see this. Some one of my friends will might go, you know what? Um, oh, I hate that bitch. So I'm gonna send this to his <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't even think yeah, about blackmail. Exactly. Type stuff. Yeah. Not blackmail, but like revenge oh. kind of thing. And it pops up on your and you have to explain to your parents why there is liquid shooting out of your ass in a video <laughs> on Twitter. <clears throat> Can you imagine? No. And Mom, I have discovered it's, that. Mom, it's Photoshop. Didn't really happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but why would you still Deep show? Fake. I can't, Deep I, fake. Yeah, Deep, exactly. Deep fake. <laughs> fake news, Mom. It's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I mean, we now, I, and I, like I said, a little bit of, little bit of investigative work. And most of these are college kids. Mm. And these videos actually help pay for. School yeah. and I'm yeah. like, so and this females, is, females do it too. Yeah, females yeah. do it too. I guess I guess straight guys do it too. Yeah. For all I know, I don't mm-hmm. have any idea. Well, guy, I don't know what what sexuality most of the guys are in this video in the videos. The ones that just show their dicks, you know, or they're masturbating or whatever. I don't really know what their sexuality is. 
Now, when they're having sex with other dudes, I definitely know what sex. Well, even then, I still don't know what sex. No, I don't. Even then, even even then, in in the okay, in the olden days, it was just gay and gay and straight, and sometimes bi, sometimes bi. That was it. We only had we only had three. The three steps were a guy and two girls. There was never two girls, Mm -hmm. two guys and one Mm -hmm. girl. It was always two girls and a guy. So yeah, we only had three designations. Well, we always had trans, but we you know. Trans has always been a part of the gay community, so that was that's never been uh, a big issue. But now we have everyone who's pan and and all and all these other ones, and I'm like, um, that's that's great. You know, the the beautiful thing is is that uh, David has his own Twitter page, David the Asexual, which Miss Pinky said. <laughs> is what about Pinky? Uh, which which Miss Pinky set up for you. Oh. So if, you know, like I said, you can always send a shout out to David the Ace. I was going to call him David the Asexual today. <laughs> That's what I am on Twitter. And now political news from David the Asexual. <laughs> Jesus. Not only is he asexual, but he is well versed in politics. <laughs> See, because I am asexual, I'm mm-hmm. political, or because I'm, I'm political, I am asexual. Well, you have Which a lot first to check it Well, you egg. have a lot more. You have a lot more free time on your hands. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, so you you have a lot more time to like thanks. You know, investigate and see things. You know, okay. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can only touch and feel someone so much. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Tell, girl, this well is dry too. What? <clears throat> and like I said, this, so this well, well this well is dry, girl. I can't believe I can't believe I'm saying this, and I'm not really worried because she don't listen anyway. But I feel I'm I, I feel like Randy right now. <laughs> I'm having a dry moment. I have not. Yeah, she gonna listen to this. You're I know. <clears throat> I'm having a dry moment right now, and it's mostly self imposed because. I've talked about this on the show a couple of times. You know, I've, I've been dealing with some skin issues from uh, with my eczema being like super bad right now, and so I've not been feeling sexy in, in a while. But it's just actually try, just bring the guy home and turn the lights off. Okay, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I can only do so much in the dark, and you know, I kind of like really to you don't know where everything's at. Well, I kind of like to, you know, kind of like to look at him, you know. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to first thing. Oh, turn off the lights, bitch! Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to be like, you know, like a vampire during sunlight. You know, oh, just God. screaming. <laughs> as soon as he turns Christ. on the light, I'm like, <laughs> 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 no light, no light. <laughs> oh my God. So, mm-mm. but we're starting to, you know, we're we're starting to feel. A lot better, and we 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 almost about ready to get back out there. And you know, Stella's about to get her groove. The back. royal we, you, the royal we, yeah. yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. We uh, we about to get our groove back, so to speak. Oh lord! And for those of you who don't know what that what that means, just Google it. I don't have time to explain. This show does not have time to explain references from nineteen whatever or two thousand whatever. Just Google it. <laughs> <laughs> This show can barely get its facts straight half the time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to sit up here and explain to you where that reference came from. But for most of you, even a couple of you millennials, Stella got her groove back. Well, Joel is trying to get his groove back. So that's that's all there is to it. <laughs> so, uh, that's what the movie, how, the, how Stella Got Her Groove how Back. How Stella Got Her yeah. Groove Back with Miss Angela Bassett. Fantastic now actress. In, now she's in 911, I believe. Yeah, she's in 911 yeah. or 999. 911. 911. That's a good show. Mm-hmm. She was also the queen in Black Panther. Uh, was so, she really? Yeah, I just she saw had that, that fabulous movie. white hair. I just saw <gasps> that movie like a week ago. She, I know. She just looks so fabulous in that mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. She plays the queen in the movie. I didn't mm-hmm. realize that was her. Yes. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh-huh. You did not know that? I actually tried to watch the movie because mm-hmm. I was trying to understand part of it, which 
that's for a different day, but there mm-hmm. was parts of that show that movie that didn't make nobody sense. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it mm-hmm. was rather predictable, if I may say so. Uh, you know, I was, I'm very proud that this was something that people were happy about. But when I saw the movie, I went, you know, um, it's pretty much a Marvel movie. Oh, it was totally. And but I mean, it's, I just I, like and, and had, the, the villain was much better. And I mean, Marvel has had a villain problem for quite some time. And I yeah. think the villain in this in this movie was way way better than in most. Although I will say, if that world existed, <clears throat> mm-hmm. I would love to live there. I know, right? That'd be cool. Wakanda would be. What, what, awesome. is that, what, what was it called? Vibranium. Oh, oh, vibranium. Vibranium. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, look mm-hmm. at all the shit that shit does. Mm-hmm. And you I know, live there. You know, the funny thing is, is that all these, all all those terms were made up by seventies comic book artists. And I'm like, and I've been reading comic books. I was reading comic books for a, till last week. <laughs> Basically, put that's my that's my whole foray in the in the comic book. You're a nerd. I am a giant nerd, but. You know, even the, I mean, those kind of terms were used. In, and I always was fascinated where they came up with these terms. Uh, the, I think, to be quite honest, uh, there were a couple of times that I've seen what we call the cell phone now. <clears throat> some versions of it in certain comics that I used to, to read when I was when I was a kid, like in the uh, 70s and 80s. So, oh, I was really like the, the, uh, the Dick Tracy comics where he had a watch yeah. that would do just about everything. Yeah, exactly. And nowadays we have now the watch. We have the watch. Just about everything. It, it, exactly. That takes an incredible amount of imagination to come up with, with stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, we are uh, 30, 30 minutes into the show. We're going to take a little bit of a break. And uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about, well, I mean, the subject here is pretty much stupidity. stupidity. <laughs> And I'm going to find that guy's name mm-hmm. that does all the YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look for his name. Okay. So we're going to be right back. And we're back. Uh, we, we took a quick break to take care of a couple of things. Okay. We had to Google some stuff. Okay. We, yeah, we did have to Google So I did some. have the guy's name wrong. His it's name is Todrick Hall. Todrick Hall. You were that's, thinking of Todrick Hall. Yes. That's mm-hmm. the queen that I was thinking about. Where mm-hmm. All of his songs sound the exact same. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he got to start doing... Uh, Disney parodies mm-hmm. for, and I, that's when I, and that's when, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's when he caught my attention because I'm like, what the hell is this going on? And now, he, and now you said he does, he's a judge, uh, yeah, he's a judge on yeah, uh, he, drag, RuPaul's Drag Race? Yeah, he's a judge on, he, he's a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. I just, you just watch his videos uh, on YouTube. Him and, just... and uh, Taylor Swift are like best, or besties. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm, they're like besties. She was, he was in her that other video that she did with all the queens in the video, mm-hmm. girl, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really listen to Taylor Swift that much. And she's all they play on the radio. <clears throat> it's mm-hmm. like every hour. Mm-hmm. I can tell you the whole rotation of the artists of mm-hmm. music and music. Mm-hmm. Video well, Houston. the girls, the girls, the girl is a genius. She's a marketing genius. Well, you know where she gets all her music mm-hmm. from? Breaking mm-hmm. up with guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she uses. I would not want to date her. Uh, hell no, because you, know you know there's going to be a song about mm-hmm. you. Hell um, no. Unless I want to be kind of famous, and then I'd like date her, treat her really wrong, and then she can make a top. You know, I'd make that bitch dump me, and then yeah, I'd exactly, write a song. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Would you? Could you? Well, I'm not going to date her. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just tired of listening to all her songs. That sound the same. Her songs all sound the same, too. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, speaking of uh, you, uh, I think there was a... There's some Lady Gaga action going on on the internet. Oh, I major and leak. I, and I major looked all leak. over because I wanted to hear that leak, and I didn't find it. I didn't anywhere. either. I tried. I didn't everywhere. either. But she sat on, on TV and, and smiled and said, "Y'all heard it." So <laughs> she dropped it. She wanted to see. Mm-hmm. She wanted to see what his gonna, if it, what kind of feedback she's going to get from mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. What do they call those trial run? No, that's not mm-hmm. the word. I forget what it's called. Anyway, mm-hmm. they do it in politics where they throw things out there and mm-hmm. deny that they said them, but they really did because mm-hmm. they just want a trial balloon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm thinking about? I think so. Anyway, she knew what she was doing. She released it. She wanted to see what the queens would say about mm-hmm. it. Apparently, they all love it. I didn't get to hear it. I didn't get to hear it either. But mm-hmm. apparently, it sounds like old Gaga, mm-hmm. which is a win in my book. So, mm-hmm. is, is that a win now? I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear the song. I, mm-hmm. I wasn't one of the lucky ones who got to I'm, hear it. I'm, Believe me, I searched, I searched everywhere to try to find mm-hmm. that song so I could hear it. Mm-hmm. But because apparently, I'm, apparently, I'm gonna like mm-hmm. it. I like Lady Gaga. I'm not in love with Lady Gaga. I could mm-hmm. take her here and there. 
Mm, I don't so every now and then, she's a very versatile woman because mm-hmm. you know she she writes her own music mm-hmm. when, she, when she's high, which I think is funny. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> then she's an actress. I mean, she did uh, that movie with um, what's mm-hmm. his doodle last year. Uh huh. A star is Thank born. Thank you. A star is born. <laughs> you not remember? That? I went I, and I worked in a movie theater. That movie was wow. Anyway, anyway. Mm-hmm. And, um, How many so times did you see that movie? I've probably seen the whole movie, just not all at once. Cause mm-hmm. I, I was in and out of it, like like most movies. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in and out of it, so mm-hmm. I don't miss that job either. <laughs> 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 I just told you, I just I just watched Black Panther. Like, mm-hmm. just I don't even know, was it a week or two ago? I just watched it, and mm-hmm. that was how long ago? Oh, that was, and it's the next two years. It's two years old now, and the next one comes out in twenty twenty two, February twenty twenty two. 2022. How they're going to bring you back to life after he's been killed over. Oops, spoil alert, sorry. Who are you talking about? He Doesn't he die in Avengers Endgame? Okay, you are. <laughs> doesn't he? No. Black Panther doesn't die? No, he does not die in Endgame. I thought someone told me he didn't. Okay, so, I haven't seen that one either, so okay, I don't so, know. Okay, I so Black Panther let me, dies. Okay, so here, let me let me get you a little caught up. Who dies? Is they going to try to bring him back? <clears throat> okay, so l- let me... Hold on, girl. <laughs> oh, Lord. I need okay, to so oh, God. Okay, so you have so to go back. You have to. First of all, you need to watch Infinity War because that's where he bites the dust. Oh. But then he comes back, and no spoilers. Well, you're going to watch it anyway. <clears throat> I'm probably not. It, it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the second one he died in. It's the first one he died. The, the Avengers, oh, really? uh, Avengers Infinity War he dies in, and okay. then he comes back in. In, in oh, game. so I'm okay. So I'm a little bit mm, off. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So you're a little bit off. I'm not mm-hmm. a comic book nerd either. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my I did watch. I I did cry when 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 Peter Parker died because that's you know that's my boy. That's who got me through my childhood. And to watch him die on screen was yeah, it was it was heartbreaking. Yeah, it was it was sad. It was one of the few times that I cry at movies. I don't usually cry at movies that much. Even when they're like super sad. I get like well a well of emotion but you know tears don't actually come out. It's just a big well of emotion. I also just watched Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. And I, there's silence there. I don't know. I, I was I watched it and I was like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. It's a generic Marvel movie that did it's well. Kinda... And that's fine. And that's all in you know, Marvel. And, you know, they can probably put a put on the screen mm-hmm. a pile of steaming shit and just mm-hmm. say yeah, Marvel exactly. did it and, and it'll put sell a cape out. behind it and, and say, it will and, and attach the word Marvel to mm-hmm. it and it's going to sell out. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, unfortunately, Ooh, did um, you see that poop steaming right there? I know. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, uh, Mr. Robert Downey Jr. found out the hard way what happens when you try to go on your own after Marvel and his movie Doolittle just. It's right up there with cats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although I was more fascinated by cats than I was because of with, how bad it was. I mean, because the, I mean, the animation is just freaky. Just, well, you know what? The CGI is terrible, but it mm-hmm. just, it's also kind of sad because of all mm-hmm. the, the big names that are in it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Taylor Swift, she's in it too. Yeah, Taylor so. Swift, Jennifer I mean, Hudson. Like, yeah, I think. Uh, um, Idris Elba, it's all a lot these of big names. A lot for this movie of big be, names. You know, probably the salaries alone would probably be mm-hmm. a budget for a movie. One one of the movies, but mm-hmm. add to the CGI. And then they released it. Then they had to release another version of it because the CGI was so bad. Mm-hmm. Was like, well, the CGI oh was Lord. creepy. It was just so creepy. I mean, <clears throat> it's thing, sad too because mm-hmm. I believe well, Cats was I, like one of the best plays on Broadway. Yeah, it was one of the longest it's one of the longest running plays on Broadway, that's for sure. And it was loved by millions of people. Just not the movie. Uh, The movie just I think the movie just freaked people out. (laughs) I I really do. I don't really think that it had anything to do with who was in the movie. I just think the CGI just freaked people out. Yeah, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say that um, I actually, like I said, I thought about going to see the movie, but I Thought I'm, thought to myself, um, do I need to be at a movie theater with a bar? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the trailer, you saw all the best parts, yeah. basically. So, and you know, I'm not, I'm not a musicals kind of guy. I, I mean, I like a couple of musicals here and there. Uh, Cabaret is my favorite. Uh, ca- Cabaret is my absolute favorite. And uh, uh, what's the other one? Oh, uh, Chicago. Those are those are yeah, yeah. Those are my two favorite. But I'm not really yeah. a big musicals queen. Rulon Mouge was a fantastic mm-hmm. one too. Oh, I didn't particularly care for Rulon Mouge. I didn't. I just 
I don't know. I just found uh, what's what's her name? The Australian act- actress Nicole Kidman. Uh, I just I find Nicole Kidman creepy for some reason. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it is. Even in, even when she did her role in and that horrible. Well, it wasn't wasn't horrible. I liked Val Kilmer as Batman. Even when she was in that Batman movie, I'm just like. Okay, they're trying to make her look sexy, like, but she she's blonde? still so creepy to me. <laughs> Why is she so creepy to me? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I mean, she don't get me wrong. She looked good in the movie, mm-hmm. and she looked hot, but I still got a creep vibe from her. And I'm like, if she were to show up in my bedroom in the dark, I would be screaming. <laughs> Why would she show up in your bedroom? Anyway? I don't know. <laughs> dark or otherwise. I, I feel like that there's some dark entity around her Ooh. that she would show up in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Try to scare me in the middle of, woo. What was, what would it's Rand- Nicole Kidman. What would Randy say? <laughs> Satan, get behind me. Get mm. thee behind me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, Randy, we're thinking about you. Mm-hmm. We're, we're thinking about you. You, you get better, girl. It's going to get better, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, my God. You know, I have to, uh, you know, uh, oh, you know what? Here is a fascinating uh, question that I actually have. Um, I'm starting to worry a little bit about the term sexual fluidity and Hollywood's use of it when it becomes convenient in a as a plot device in certain uh, TV shows because I feel like, like that – I feel like it's being overused. I feel like it's an excuse to pander to our community a little bit by saying, oh, a character who we never would have thought would have had any kind of sexuality other than heterosexual. Later, you know, you hear a producer or a director or a writer go, oh, no, he, no, that character is pan- is, pan- is uh, sexually fluid. And you go, well, I've already watched three seasons of this. Where is the sexual fluidity? I feel like that that's a turn. Which show? I mean, which are we referring to? I mean, uh, well, right now, Netflix is you. Uh, one of the characters in you is supposedly sexually fluid. Um, however, from talking to people who have, I've, I've never watched the show. I haven't seen it either. No, it's on uh, my list, but yeah. I haven't seen it either. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, from the people I've uh, talked to about the show, you probably want to watch this. I think this show is for you. Mm-hmm. It's not a show for me, but I think it's definitely for you. I, I love the fact that I have. When you have uh, different groups of friends and you kind of, when you've known them for a long time, you know what kind of shows they would watch and what kind of shows they would, wouldn't. I mean, all my friends know that, you know, I, I like comic book stuff. I like anime. I like weird sci-fi. Uh, I'm not big into horror, mm-hmm. uh, which is weird because I used to be, I wasn't a super uh I was wasn't super into horror. I just didn't mind horror, mm-hmm. uh, but I also got bored with horror. When you start to see the same tropes over and over again, uh, you know, of course, we grew up in the era of the slasher flick, yeah. and you know, once Friday the th- once Halloween Halloween, which I always felt like was the the king of slasher f- slasher f- flicks. Really? Yes, I always thought that. <clears throat> uh, some people might say Friday the Thirteenth. Did you well, see the latest one? Well, no, yeah. I'm talking about no, I'm talking about the old versions. Oh, okay. yeah. So I would, I would, and then suddenly you had after Halloween, you have Friday the Thirteenth, and then the the bar just got lower and lower and lower when it came to slasher flicks. After that, I mean, besides those two, what other slasher flick do you remember from the '80s or '90s? It, with the exception of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <clears throat> well, yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday the Thirteenth. Well, no, I, I said the original Friday, Friday the 13th. Yeah, the original the, Friday. Yeah. Not Saturday the 14th and all the others. And, <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. Friday the 13th, uh, Jason's in Space. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> there really was a Saturday the 14th, and it was a terrible movie. Was I? You know what? I told someone that, that there was a Saturday there the 14th. Was. Yeah, it was terrible. But wasn't that like a parody comedy kind of thing? It was so bad, I don't even remember. I it think was that so was bad. like a, so it was supposed to be a parody, if I remember correctly. It was terrible. Uh, but it was really terrible. Uh, it was Halloween season of the witch terrible. That's how, I mean, oh, Lord. I didn't understand what that movie was. <laughs> that movie had nothing to do with Michael Myers in the, I'm like, are you, what is this? <laughs> That's... Here's the, you know, the new thing now is the it 
Mm-hmm. Or it, it's just called It. Mm-hmm. But the two It movies. Mm-hmm. And apparently the second movie is not based on anything that has been written. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Like, the first It was there was a novel on that. Yeah, Stephen King. Right. But mm-hmm. It, the second It, there was nothing that was kind of... A screenwriting screen written for this. No, well, uh, there were some elements that were changed, but it's really based on the book. It from Stephen based King. Based on the book. Yeah, it's based on, and that book is a thousand pages. So, you imagine yeah, that clown. I read that book when I was seventeen, and I have to say, it was. Imagine the, Taylor Swift as the clown. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, just bagging on her today. I'm sorry. Right? I still <laughs> think Nicole Kidman would be scarier. I think That's, Nicole Kidman would be scary. No, no, they both would be pretty. Mm. Just the right amount of makeup. You don't really. She don't really need to put a lot of makeup on her. Put any makeup on her. You don't really <laughs> need to. Be yeah. Perfect. Oh, and if she does that hand clap she did at the Oscars, where her fingers were like all bit back. Oh God! If she could do that, I would be horrified oh, for my months. Because <laughs> so, I'm like that poor um, clown. That poor clown. Are we still talking about Nicole? Or are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I, you know, I, uh, like this is ever going to happen, so I'm not really that concerned. Uh, Miss Kidman, if you happen to stumble across this, we do love you. I just find you creepy a little bit. <laughs> Isn't she doing a line of mm-hmm. makeup or face is she? products or something called Goop? No, that's that? that's Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, she Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 Gwyneneth yeah, yeah, Paltrow. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she, yes, she has right, the Gwyneth vagina Paltrow. scented candles. Which just begs Which, questions of all kinds for me. I, I want to ask. Having never been there, I wouldn't know what one smells like. So. I want to ask, is it her vagina or is it a <laughs> vagina in general? I, or, I, I, and uh, why are the candles... You don't have well, candles in. A, you you know, don't have well, vagina ca- candles in other colors besides white. You know, if you can make a <laughs> if, Jesus, if you can make a vagina scented candle, could you make a Xanax scented candle, or a Viagra scented candle, or you know, I mean, or, or you know, could you? Ooh, maybe a pot scented candle. You don't actually have to I think smoke. They are, you just light a candle. I think they already have those. Candle. Really? I, I think they already have those. Now, those are in the certain states where you know they're a bit more organized about it. Are you talking about the pot candles? And they or have, are you talking about yeah. the Xanax and Viagra no, the, the pot candles. I <laughs> know. Uh, I think that because I've long said, long mm-hmm. said that mm-hmm. Viagra candles probably you know, should be a thing. You know, you you know. Uh, speaking of which, if you happen to end up in California, you need to investigate whether they have. Pot scented candles, okay. Because you know it's 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 legal. So yes, it's, it's legal in several states mm-hmm. across the country. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> not just California. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it'll be coming to Texas. And although they do have a uh, medical, uh, you can get medical marijuana and in I Texas. Heard, and I just heard on the radio today mm-hmm. that starting next this year, I think that you'll be able to grow hemp mm-hmm. for purposes of CBD oil mm-hmm. and for clothing and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It has to have to feel like. Less than point zero three percent THC, mm-hmm. which so begs all kinds of other questions. Who's so, doing the testing, uh, <laughs> and how are they doing? Just the a reminder to everybody in the country: this is not Florida. You will not find Texans smoking any kind of shirts or jeans <laughs> made out of hemp. Uh, we are a little bit smarter than that. We're not Florida. We're not Alabama or Mississippi. We are a little bit. We are, we're smarter. Because we have a lot of people from California and New York because they couldn't afford to live live there anymore. <laughs> oh my god! Hopefully, if we get a we get just a few more people, we can probably go from a red state to a blue state. That'd be awesome. And that would be so awesome. Just keep jacking those rents awesome. up in New York and California. Y'all it's, come on to Texas. Because <laughs> I heard like uh, our our mm-hmm. governor. I'm getting off on a tangent. Our governor, who was on uh, something on CNBC this morning, and he said that it was his job. You know, he was talking about the influx of people from California mm-hmm. coming to Texas. And he was talking about, you know, what's get, the, the question the interviewer had asked something along the lines of, what are you going to do if Texas becomes, you know, a blue state? Uh, and he was like, oh, I get up every single morning to make sure that that doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I can think of myself was, no, you should get up every single morning to be a governor for the state of yeah, Texas. exactly. And govern the people who call themselves citizens of Texas, mm-hmm. no matter where they originate from. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking in my head. The guy's such an asswipe, I swear mm-hmm. to God. Okay, this is the same guy who said that he would stop taking refugees in. Yeah, he's uh, By so the far, way, he's Texas like, gets The like, only state governor so far who has said yeah, that. Yeah, he's know. the only governor. Amazingly enough, and like I said, uh, David will tell me next week. Um, 
the last time that I checked the numbers for the the number of people who are refugees uh, from other countries who have who are now living in Texas, that number is very small. It's a very small number. Yeah. So I'm thinking, wait, are we getting like millions of people from Syria or something into this? You in know, the Texas, I just, I just, it's a know, small number, it's, and it just, it's just politics as usual. It, it, it is, and I, and I don't, I'm sorry we got on the subject, but since we're here, mm-hmm. you know, one thing um, in Europe, like Germany, they, they welcome the Syrian refugees, mm-hmm. and the rationale, and by the way, they have a very conservative government, mm-hmm. you know, Angela Merkel is a, is a, tends to be a little, well, conservative in Europe, conservative in the United States. Mm-hmm. They've told, little, they've yeah. told different things, mm-hmm. but at any rate, she's a little more conservative. But and most European nations welcome the refugees mm-hmm. because they realize that their population is growing older and they need the people to come in and yeah. work to support the older people because they have a pension mm-hmm. system in mm-hmm. other countries, in every country in the world except this one, mm-hmm. where you know they basically the gov- the state supports them. Which I think is fantastic, except mm-hmm. that they need people coming in to do that, and the birth rates are like just like mm-hmm. it is here in the United States is is falling, mm-hmm. and they're thinking long term we need these people to come in mm-hmm. and work mm-hmm. so they can pay for the people who are getting old, mm-hmm. you know, and that's kind of forward thinking. And I think that's kind of forward thinking that we probably should be doing as mm-hmm. well, because I, you know, when Social Security is gone, when you and I are old enough to draw Social Security, it isn't going to exist. Mm-hmm. Um, and this man, oh, by the way, nothing to do with refugees, but mm-hmm, has yeah. something to do with. And by the way, the White House right this now. man that's sitting in the White House, who is literally bragging while he's going through an impeachment thing, that he's got the evidence <clears throat> that they don't. Yeah, uh, is that an admission? Uh, that's pretty much Sounds an admission. Like one to me. Yeah, but the thing is, is that this is also a man who is bragging that w- once he is reelected, he is going to cut Social Security. He has literally oh, said oh, that. He said that was it today, mm-hmm. and he was in Davos, mm-hmm. and because uh, I was watching the news this morning at three mm-hmm. o'clock in the morning when I get up, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was the headline that he was talking about. They were going to tackle entitlements next, mm-hmm. and specifically. Um, Medicare and Social Security. Mm-hmm. I I pity the fool who votes for that. I'm yeah, exactly. Because they're not going to be right. They're not going to be. No, they're not going to get real. I don't, I don't understand why. So go ahead, you, go ahead, and try it. I don't <laughs> understand why you, as a president who is going through an impeachment right now, who uh, you didn't win the popular vote. Uh, the, I, Regardless I think, of what you say, I, I think this needs to be said once and for all. And I am tired of having this argument with people. He did not win the popular vote. Mm-hmm. So he did not get the vote of the majority of Americans. Nope, he, did he did not. not. He lost by 3 million votes. That's right. That is I, a and fact. I, and I you think can look it up. I think it's funny about mm-hmm. the Bernie Sanders thing and the Warren and the Elizabeth Warren thing. Mm-hmm. He's talking about, you know, a woman couldn't win in this environment. I'm just like, I don't know what rock you're lying under, Bernie. A woman done won. Mm-hmm. She so, won already. Yeah, exactly. She won the, she won the popular mm-hmm. vote. So mm-hmm. don't say a woman can't win. Mm-hmm. One already did. Mm-hmm. She just didn't take the electoral college. I think that which should this be abolished. Is, also, uh, do you think it's getting a little bit um, angrier on the Democratic side when it comes to? I mean, we're literally. Why are we talking about the fact that Bernie would? Why would Bernie even say that a he, woman couldn't? He he tried to backtrack a little bit and say, "Well, you know, we all have issues. I'm 78 years old. You know, nobody's going to. That's my issue." And I'm just like. You know, first of all, you all of y'all are too old. Mm-hmm. Pete Buttigieg needs to take it, mm-hmm. and I'm not just saying that because he's gay. Hey, I would even Him, go with Andrew Yang. I have my next, I was mm-hmm. saying Andrew Yang also. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's a viable option mm-hmm. too, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. In fact, I kind of like his politics a little better than Pete Buttigieg. But I think something I do to be too. said for a gay person mm-hmm. at least mm-hmm. showing. I love the idea or, that you know, yeah, doing well, or placing maybe not winning, but maybe show a place. Yeah, that'd be kind of awesome. It, it kind of, uh, I think for gay people, I. I, I think it's kind of almost like a slight Obama moment. It's it, like it, it, that's what, that's what it's thing. like you don't think that he's he's gonna pull it off, and then somehow he pulls it off, and you're like, I think it's gonna be a long shot <gasps> because I think that there are, mm-hmm. there's a uh, specifically older black women who have a problem with a gay man being mm-hmm. the president, mm-hmm. but and he needs the black vote in order. Mm-hmm. To, no matter who takes the Democratic nomination, mm-hmm. they're gonna have to t- have that black vote with. Him I if think he just doesn't have that vote. I right think there's now. a lot of controversy uh, when it comes to. Uh, Black people and Peter Boucher. There are a lot of black people out there who don't think, who think that he's making too much of a deal of the fact that black certain uh, black women, uh, black women, by the way, have been all over elections in the last few years. Right. They have been talked about all, all over elections because they the fact because everybody the, knows who runs those households. Yeah, exactly. It's the women. Mm-hmm. 
And it's the fact that uh, this is why we don't have uh, Roy Moore from Alabama. He's running. He's running again, uh, stupidly enough. Uh, He may get it. He may get it. it, But he's not going to supposedly not getting any support from Trump. So I don't know how he's going to get it. I don't know. Uh, um, he's running his, against other Republicans right now. So right, well, the guy who took his place, Doug Johnson, um, he's mm-hmm. just a mm-hmm. Republican and he's mm-hmm. a Democrat in name only. Mm-hmm. He's well, I don't really expect that much from Alabama, uh, so <laughs> I'm just gonna. I mean, or thank Louisiana you, or or, yeah, those. I mean, do you see how poor those states are? I well, don't really. Say, Louisiana, and I live in Louisiana. They, they have Louisiana, they have a Democratic governor who's, he who is, ex, he is who's re- just as corrupt as the rest. of them. He's a Republican. I mean, he's a Democrat, mm-hmm. but he's a, he's. I remember when he was at, you know, because I lived there for two years. Mm-hmm. He had the the one of the the CPAC convert because the. Uh, conservative political mm-hmm. community had their had one of their shows in New Orleans had one of their get-togethers whatever mm-hmm. things in New Orleans and the head the key, keynote speaker was the Democratic mm-hmm. governor from mm-hmm. the state of Louisiana mm-hmm. what does that tell you you know mm-hmm. man is pro guns and anti choice mm-hmm. so Democrat name only mm-hmm. uh, isn't wouldn't he be like what is uh what's her name is she still running uh, is it is it Klobacher. Tul- Tulsi. Oh, oh Amy, Tulsi uh, Gabbard. Tulsi she's Gabbard. She's still running. She, she's that still, bitch will not drop out. She's still she's running. She's the next. She, she's she's a Republican, too. She's I know. a Democrat name only. I know. She's, vying, she's, she's hanging in there because she wants a spot on Fox News. You mark my words. When, mm-hmm. when she finally gets knocked out of that race, because mm-hmm. it's going to happen, mm-hmm. she's going to have a spot on Fox <laughs> News. She's not running for re-election, <laughs> which she knows that she won't, get, she won't win re-election. Mm-hmm. So she's not even running for re-election. Mm-hmm. So good for her for... Fox News, good for her. Mm-hmm. Thinking about your future because it's going to be on Fox News. <laughs> she a Democrat in name only? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I don't understand about these people who are Democrats in name only. Why even bother? You know? mm-hmm. Tulsi Gabbard's not going to make it. I mean, she's just kind of. Mm-hmm. I think she's because I, I, she's auditioning for um, Fox mm-hmm. News. I mm-hmm. think that's the only reason she's doing it. She's Fox. She's auditioning for mm-hmm. Fox News. Um, shouldn't can she land on CNN or something? No. Like? We don't want. Well, we don't want her on CNN. I want to. I want to. I want to bring something up real quick. Um, because I, I, I think in this segment we we did go into politics, and I don't. I don't mind that. Um, the thing is, is that, uh, um, there was a study done to find out how much bias is in the media, and surprisingly enough, uh, according to the study, um, all this talk of liberal bias and all this other stuff. Uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of it, or well, MSNBC at night is very liberal. Yeah, well, at yes, night. yes. Not when the when they at openly night. admit that right. they are like Rachel Maddow, like Rachel Maddow does, who is who, awesome. whose ratings are awesome. are awesome. awesome. She gets fantastic ratings, even against Fox News, which is amazing. Uh, one of the only few people on MSNBC. I mean, she, I feel like she's carrying the network. I feel like there's like if you, name, if you try to name an anchor from MSNBC, she's probably the only one mm-hmm. most people can mention. Mm-hmm. So I, I think her popularity on uh, MSNBC is important mm-hmm. too because she is she's also a member of the community. So so it's it's just great. Hell, to, CNN girl, they all members of the community. Mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> Hello, Don Lemon. Don Lemon, I got my eyes all. I over still, you. I'm sorry. I still love me some. Uh, oh, good lord! Don you Lemon. know we are not. <laughs> this is Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Don Lemon's yes. engaged now. I yes, saw that I know. I saw the pictures of him at the beach with his. Soon to Forget be that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Rock I on his saw finger? the rock. Mm. Mm. I saw the rock. That bitch. Now, <laughs> now when Anderson Cooper gets married, I'm gonna be like, I'll be done. Mm. That's it. I'm okay. done. Well, when Anderson Cooper gets married, I'm gonna invite you to the wedding because he'll be married. <laughs> he'll be lazy. He'll marry this is, you. He'll this is what's me. gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna be David and I will probably take another trip to Atlanta. Uh, we'll be walking through the CNN building. <laughs> He's and in New York. That's fine. <laughs> he, he can visit Atlanta. Let this, can I have my fantasy, please? He'll be he'll be in Atlanta. Maybe you know picking up a paycheck or whatever they do in Atlanta. And <laughs> he he'll, anymore, he'll be uh, <laughs> he'll be walking through the little mall, probably trying to find a CNN t shirt or something. And I'll just be standing. You and I'll be talking, and then I'll turn around, and there he is. And then our eyes lock, and then he comes over and says hello, and I say, Hey, Anderson, how are you doing? And he's like, hey, what's going on? I saw you across the room there. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm just here with my friend, David. We're just uh, shopping for T-shirts. Uh, David, this is Anderson. Anderson, David. Hey, 
you doing? Okay. And while David faints on the floor, <laughs> and uh, just the fact that I meant to see it, you know, we're in we're both <laughs> we're both down there, you know, fanning him to get him off the floor. We have a little bit of a conversation, and then he's he's like. I would love to take you to dinner. Oh, that would be great. And then the relationship starts. And then I'm going to shoot you. (laughs) (laughs) I thought your mom lives in Atlanta. I'll be like, I don't know what happened. I swear. He just, (laughs) I don't know how that bullet got inside his head. I have no idea. Oh, this gun? Don't pay no mind to that. Okay, Okay, this is recorded. So (laughs) the police will go, and you decided to record this. You are you are the prime suspect. You know. <laughs> oh Lord! Well, mm-hmm. well, we've already got an hour into it. Married anytime soon. Yeah, so I don't. Mm-mm. No, he just needs to be a single hoe. Just being a single hoe. Well, I I'm think he okay does with have being... a boyfriend, but I don't think marriage is it in the cards. Yeah, at least you, not we're, yet. Okay, well, uh, David, um, we're gay. That doesn't really mean. <laughs> That are you you and I have experience. That doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> Until a ring gets on that, even when a ring gets on that finger, that don't mean a thing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take a break, and we will be right back. And we're back. We're going to finish uh, the last half. What's wrong? It looks like you just reset it back to zero. Uh, yeah, that's an accident, but I always merge. Oh. You can always merge. Uh, that's what I love about this machine. You can just merge them together, and that'll that'll be it. So, okay. not a big deal. I have the first hour down, and now we're just going to finish the last thirty minutes or forty, whatever it turns. Okay. To, you know how my how this show goes. We say thirty minutes, but you know we're in gay time. <laughs> queen time. Try queen time. Mm-hmm. And when you're a black queen, that's even later. <laughs> and, uh, shout out to Hamburger Mary's. Mm-hmm. They show start on time. So. They do. St- they do start on time. Amazingly enough, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the, first it's the only drag seen. show in Houston that ever starts on. Time. That's what I mean. It's the only drag shows I've ever seen. But mm-hmm. they do like two mm-hmm. shows, so they got to start on time. They got to end on time. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we, I, you know, uh, I think the new drag scene is Rebar now. We, I think we need to take a look at Rebar. Riches two point oh. Mm-hmm. Which is uh in the old? Uh, is it in the old F bar? F bar building. It's my understanding. I haven't been. Mm-hmm. It's my understanding. Mm-hmm. I I feel like if they no, have, they have like um, I just saw like they're fixing to have one of my favorite DJs of all time mm-hmm. later in I want to say early March. I want to say mm-hmm. right around Easter. I can't remember. Anyway, it's DJ Gotro, mm-hmm. Joe, Go- Joe Gotro is one of my favorite DJs, and he's coming to Houston at mm-hmm. Rebar. Mm-hmm. What what you know? We're gonna have to look into that. What day is he coming? Mm-hmm. I think he is so hot. Mm-hmm. He is so fine. Mm-hmm. But he's an excellent DJ, too. Mm-hmm. But he's still hot. That's all it is. Oh, he's fine as fuck. Mm. <laughs> as long as he's hot. And oh, that's, he's fine mm-hmm. as fuck. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or he, he can throw down some beats. If he can he's, throw down some beats, that's, that's he's, even I, better, are, too. There are a few follow, a few DJs, that I, just a few DJs who I follow, and he is definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. He's just soft on the eyes, and his music rocks. Mm-hmm. And wh- he's coming in March. I have to look it up, but um, mm-hmm. it's Revelry Weekend, mm-hmm. whenever that is. I have to Google it because I saw it. Somehow mm-hmm. it came across my Facebook feed yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. I was that. like, ah, mm-hmm. I want to see it. I saw who the DJs are. Mm-hmm. One of them is one of Houston's own, DJ Joe Ross. He's going to be playing mm-hmm. um, actually the same day as Go Cho mm-hmm. Go Tro mm-hmm. also. Um, for those of you I don't know, DJ J. Ro- Joe Ross is based here in Houston and, and Go Cho Go Tro. Got his starting in New Orleans, but I think he lives in Atlanta now because mm-hmm. that's where that's the end place for DJs to live these days. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Atlanta is the end place for a lot of things these days. <laughs> uh, I'll stick to Houston on that one. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, although uh, that uh, the new uh, it's been a long time since the show's been based in Texas, but the new that new nine one one Texas edition. With Rob Lowe, I think is I, I think that. that's Austin based though. You know, if if you're gonna do anything in Texas, it's probably gonna be in Austin. Mm, yeah, it's right. pretty much how Austin is the center of the universe in Texas. For Texas, yeah. Mm-hmm. Houston might be the largest city, but Austin is the center of the universe in but Texas. But if you mm-hmm. ever try to drive through Austin, it's mm-hmm. like it's worse than driving through Houston. Mm-hmm. At least in Houston, the traffic moves. Yeah, or there's alternatives in Austin. Not not too much. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Now their bus system. Bus system sucks. It's terrible. Uh, actually, uh, what I talked about last week about the uh, metro plan was to use a plan from Austin to uh, 
have free bus service. They sh- they they actually shot it down. It's not mm-hmm. going to happen. Yeah, thank God. It was that, gonna, it was, I think they. I saw. I read in the article in the Chronicle that it was mm-hmm. going to be like they were to buy like five hundred more buses. Mm-hmm. And oh my God! No, God, God no. A, it would be a shit show. No, <laughs> no. Good Lord, give me give me some Wi Fi and places to hook up my computer on a bus, and I'll be. You'll get people back on the bus. That's what you. If you're going to get, especially millennials. You need to get millennials on the bus because millennials right now can't well, afford let's stuff. let's just say if they want to continue mm-hmm. to ride mm-hmm. Ubers and Lyfts, just let them do it. Yes. Well, of course. <laughs> just like New York, you still have to take a cab to get certain places. So yeah, that's right. Houston just can, let if they want it. Houston's if, large enough that you can do all, all three if you need if they to. they want to take an Uber, mm-hmm. let them take an Uber. That's you job still, security for some people. Yes, exactly. So I'm not saying now. I'm not saying that we shouldn't do that now. I'm just saying that it's, it's another viable option to get people out of their cars. So I, I, mm-hmm. you know, I would sit here and rag on Houston, but because I I choose to live here, but mm-hmm. Houston is way way behind on public transportation. Yeah. And they're trying to play catch up, and it's really too late to play catch up. Mm-hmm. Well, they're going to have to so, just do the best that they can with. We have to do the best that what we can. With. We grew too fast. One, no, there wasn't. It wasn't a matter of growing too fast. I, it was I, a matter of we had congressmen. We had here we go politics again. Mm-hmm. We had a congressional delegation from the Houston area mm-hmm. who always put a pause on federal funds because mm-hmm. they didn't want to fund. The light rail system and, mm-hmm. and the metro system that is uh, that because they were in the pockets of the dealerships. Tom Delay, Tom Delay. Yeah, the pockets of dealerships who did not want public transportation to be a thing. So now here we are with trans tra- with mm-hmm. traffic is mm-hmm. hella terrible bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it, we're gonna have to get creative with those kind of solutions and it's, more Ubers on the road. Mm-hmm. So that's that's that with that. So. But um, I wanted to get into what we were talking about in break, which I forgot what that was. Okay, we're God damn it, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> I God, I go to the bathroom, and I'm like thinking about what we're gonna, what we're gonna talk about. Uh, you know, I was gonna talk about DJ Qualls and the fact that he came out. Oh, oh yeah, you know, yeah, and he, uh, the funny thing, a picture of him. yeah, he needs to eat. Yeah, he does. Girl, he needs he to j- eat a big old fat well, he just he just came out, he just came out. He just so needs a good man. With, so that got to do with anything. Because he just needs a good man to feed him. He needs That's, to eat a big old and, fat double cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. And I am. Three times a day for the next 10 months. Okay. I think it's a little, I mean, he's 41 now. I don't even know if that's even. He should be lucky he can't get in no way. <laughs> it must be nice. <laughs> it must be nice because, you know, we, I, you know, uh. I don't know if you saw it this morning. There was a Facebook page from our Pride Parade many years ago that we took together. Yes. Oh, those, look how skinny we were. I know. We were so skinny. Oh, mm. my God. We were so skinny. Those were the days. I know. My skin looked so good. Oh, my God. And another, the, another but f- we, were, we were skinny. We were skinny, skinny children. Another friend of mine, she, uh, she uh, mm-hmm. who you know, mm-hmm. she has a picture of me and her mm-hmm. behind the bar at Black IP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God, I was so skinny back mm-hmm. then. I know. But I think I was on that special um, diet mm-hmm. back then. Uh-huh. Oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I was, wasn't well, I? Well, <laughs> it was was the 90s, girl. <laughs> I believe I was on that. that yeah, it was diet. the 90s. And, yeah. and someone once someone told me recently, what, you thought it went away? <laughs> I, I, God, I haven't seen it in, Jesus, Mm-mm. I don't even know when the last time was. But Girl, I just saw it. I've been going days without eating. Mm-hmm. Girl, I just saw it two weeks ago at the little bar that I usually go to. And they asked me in the bathroom, and I'm like, first of all, really? um, that's just uh, yeah, out there. I know, right? First of all, the wow. toilet and the urinal are right next to each other. I'm not fixing to do no cocaine while you taking a pee. <laughs> That's not going to... I don't know where your... Your hand is on your dick right there. <laughs> as, as much as I would like for my hand to be on your dick, which oh, is Lord. not going to happen, uh, I'm not doing no cocaine with you. I don't even... I didn't even like cocaine back then. <laughs> That's how it was and so to watch a fifty-year-old, fifty-two-year-old man do a coke, I'm like, that's kind of disheartening. You, you still do a coke? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you moved on? By that? <laughs> I haven't been to the bars in so long. I'm just like, mm-hmm. yeah. and this is a straight bar, girl. I don't even want to imagine. Oh lord, this was a straight bar they in Montrose, straight girl. Straight people do those drugs? Yes, too? straight people. Yes, yes, ma'am. Well, I thought only us queens did that Mm -mm. back in those days. Mm -mm. I haven't done it in forever. Mm -mm. I mean, 
I don't even remember how the last time it was. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, right? And speaking of which, I am I I have made it twenty days without smoking. Or Ooh. no, I made it a little longer than that. I started on the second of Today's the twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Twenty third. Today's twenty third. Yeah, so I started on the on the second. So, so actually, twenty one. Yeah, I made twenty twenty one days without smoking. Three weeks. Twenty. I made it twenty one days without smoking. I also quit drinking, but you know what? I don't really care. I never really cared about the drinking thing. It was the smoking thing. My thing was to quit smoking because I'm gonna. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It's just not fun anymore. It used to be smoking. Used to be cool. Smoking, you, I mean, you'd see it in the movies, you'd see it on TV, you'd hang out, you, you used to go to bars where mm-hmm. you could sit in the bar and smoke in the and bar. smoke in the bar. Everybody was smoking. Everybody was smoking. Mm-hmm. It was cool. It, it was cool. Now, the minute that you pull out a lighter, first of all, the minute you pull out a lighter, first of all, most people are thinking you smoke a weed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And true. they come running when they see that lighter come out. weed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when you pull out that pack of Marlboros and they're like, oh, ugh, you smoke? Ugh. I'm like, this bitch here talking about me smoking weed and, and you criticizing me for smoking a cigarette. What's wrong with you? I saw in the news, or I heard in the news mm-hmm. today, um, where, and I forget where, mm-hmm. it might have been here in Houston, I can't mm-hmm. remember. Um, oh, it was yeah, it was here. It was one of the Houston school area school districts where they um, are fixing to outlaw vaping. It's going to be in the same category as smoking. You can't smoke, can't vape on campus. You know, you and I could smoke in high school on campus. I remember when mm-hmm. I was in, in the courtyard. We would smoke cigarettes yeah, in the courtyard. I when I was in ninth grade, I, mm-hmm. I was in ninth grade. I was in Ger- living in Germany, mm-hmm. and um, we actually were all, we were able to smoke um, in the courtyard as well. Mm-hmm. But when I came. When I returned back to Deer Park High School, mm-hmm. no, mm-hmm. we didn't do. Yeah, all they had that. they had banned it after. Yeah. yeah, they had banned it, but for the most part, uh, I think I started smoking in my junior year, and I went to uh, Sam Houston Senior, and it was such a large school, you could, you could, you could literally smoke anywhere on that campus and not get caught because right. it was mm-hmm. such a large school. That's the way Deer Park we would go. I would go with the FFA kids, and FFA is Future Farmers of America. Or Future Fags of America. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> I love that. I'm tight Wranglers everywhere, cowboy hats. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm-hmm. And those Wranglers are tight in the right places, let me tell you. And cowboy hats and everything. And these, these kids would be playing around with farm animals, drinking Jack Daniels and smoking cigarettes. I'm like, um... I need to join FFA. <laughs> also, these were also the same kids who had Confederate flags everywhere. So, you know, but of course we grew up in a, in a time when the Confederate flag flag was on my favorite TV show on the general Lee. So Dukes of Hazzard. Dukes of Hazzard. So we didn't think nothing about it. Right. It was just a Friday night show that we watched every night. It was a different time. Yeah. It was a different time. Uh, <clears throat> there was a, <laughs> there was a little incident where I came home with a Confederate flag from a, from a carnival, I had gone to a carnival with some friends, and they were uh, future farmers of America. And they invited me to a, uh, a metal concert, which they didn't think I would go. I didn't, everybody in high school, every time I got invited to something, it was like I it was like almost a dare to go because I'd be the only black kid at whatever set event I was going to. And uh, <clears throat> I had seen some Confederate flags around, so I bought one and I brought it home and I hung it over my dad and my dad. Over my bed, and my dad had a heart attack. I would imagine. <clears throat> he, he had a heart attack. You know, the funny thing is, is that I saw the look on the vendor's face when I asked if I could buy the flag, and he kept asking me, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm like, <laughs> uh, did the price change or something? Because <laughs> it, it says $10, and you keep asking me if I'm sure. I just want you to make sure you're sure. Yes, I'm sure. I would like to buy a Confederate flag, please. And the look on my friends' faces, they were two of the super whitest girls on the planet. And uh, <clears throat> they also kept going, are you sure you want to do that? And I'm like, yes, I want to buy a Confederate flag. Can I please have a Confederate flag now? I don't know what the big deal is. <laughs> These days, mm-hmm. you can't even get one on uh-uh. those anymore. Mm-mm. And I saw the humor in it. Um, well, I wouldn't see the humor in it until a little later. But I saw the humor in it because I'm like, I always felt like that if more people went out and bought 
Confederate flag. If more black people would have bought Confederate flags. But they'd sting out of it. They Oh, good Lord. They'd burn those flags in a heartbeat. <laughs> those flags would have been gone years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's the, true. the blacks are interested in Confederate flags? No, we can't have that. Mm-mm, no. They would have been gone years. We wouldn't be fighting about all this stuff right now. If, We're not fighting now. <laughs> can't get them, which is I, good. I know. I know, um, but you know the Confederate statues, which I'm so glad are it's coming down one by one. Start, I mean, first of all, uh, as someone said, and I thought it was the most poignant thing to ever be said. Why are we still celebrating losers? You lost. <laughs> <laughs> you lost the war, and we're celebrating. It's like the Germans still having celebrating World War II and Hitler. That's not. <laughs> You don't see statues of Hitler all over the place? No. no. In fact, they're illegal in Good Germany. Lord, they're illegal. They don't even like to talk about it. Oh, Hitler, no. <laughs> almost a dirty bird. It's almost a dirty word. Word. Why would you celebrate losers? That's when a I see good it on, point. I haven't I know, thought about that. That's a good point. When I see it on trucks and everything else, I'm like, so are you saying that you're a loser? Because you... you Celebrate losers. One of my, you lost. <laughs> one of my one of my family members is a member of the mm-hmm. Daughters of the Confederate, mm-hmm. which I don't really even know what that is, mm-hmm. but I know that her age mm-hmm. wouldn't let her be a daughter of the <laughs> Confederate because she's still alive. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I just kind of why would you know, anyway? Mm-hmm. It's a I different time, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And you know, at some point, there can't be an excuse anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a different time. Mm-hmm. No, it's no, no, no. It's it's not an excuse anymore, and for people who are still using that as an excuse to justify what you're doing now, uh, you're you're just an asshole. Yeah, that's <laughs> the bottom line. That's just pretty much the bottom line. Society always changes, and mm-hmm. with each new generation, society changes. Yeah, and that's just the way it is. And if you don't like it, don't become a part of. Don't be a member of society. That's right. Go hold up in your little your little cave in the woods somewhere. And you can celebrate all the shit that you want to, but if, ten foil dunce cap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I like it. Like, like I said, and that's not original for me. That came from someone else. But I thought it was funny too that I'm like, wait, they did lose the war. <laughs> so yeah, why are we know, still? I, cel- I, hadn't, I hadn't thought about. Why that. are You're we exactly still right. celebrating these people? That's and true. they lost the war. They weren't even. No, you lost the war. Move on. Over set over slavery. You lost that war, and you're still crying about it. Why? <laughs> that was hundreds of years ago. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know about hundreds of years ago, but mm-hmm. point taken. Mm-hmm. Good Lord. No, it was 18, 1800. That was hundreds of years ago. You still so sell- The country is only 270, mm-hmm. what, 280 years ago. Okay, so if you, count, <clears throat> if you count the fact that people have been coming over here since 16... Something well, or other. Native Americans were here long before. Well, that. yeah, Native Americans. But if you're, if you're talking about an established government, then we're talking maybe Again, two to two Native to three hundred. Native Americans but were here before us. When the white man came over, it was in the 1600s, mm-hmm. and even further back, when you talk about the actually the first people to step, Amerigo, oh, oh. Amerigo oh. Vespucci. No, no, no. The first uh, people to step in, in North America were actually the Vikings. Amerigo Vespucci. <clears throat> Wasn't he a Viking? No, he wasn't a Viking. He was an what? Italian. Was he really? And actually, uh, yeah. yeah. I guess that's what you And I think that's I, more yeah, of a South American thing. Give it away. I yeah, like, I think that's more of a South. What, wasn't it what the Americas are named after? America Vespucci? Mm-hmm. But I think that's more of a South American thing then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Like so, yeah, the Vikings cool. were actually, they were around Canada, uh, certain parts of New York, up, up, uh, upper New York, that kind of stuff. They, yeah, they were here long before. I always want to wear those hats mm-hmm. that the Vikings wear with the mm-hmm. horns on the side. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is why a lot of people, uh, a lot of historians believe that um, this is why the Native Americans probably weren't super surprised when they saw white people step up because they'd already seen white people before. Yeah, and that was the Vikings, so right. they they weren't super surprised. When other white people came over, they're like, "Oh, more white people." <laughs> it's the influx of the yeah, blonde eyes, exactly. blonde haired, and blue eyed people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so they don't, they don't. So the country's actually a lot old, uh, older than that. What our birthday suggests. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, what our birthday suggests. But you know, that's 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 that. But we're not going to get into it. We're we're we're. Getting into a history lesson. <laughs> We're talking about some of DJ Qualls needing to eat. Mm-hmm. I don't know how we got to from that to well, Vikings. You know. Well, like I said, DJ Qualls, yeah, he, 
We just need to give him a burger. A few of them. Mm-hmm. A burger and to get a water burger, a double beef. Oh, I know what happened. It was because we were so pissed off at the fact that he's still so skinny. Oh, that's right. Because uh-huh. he, yeah. he's still. Because then, then we started talking about us. We were younger, young and skinny. And I know the days. I know. Mm-mm. Do you miss those days sometimes? I don't. Yeah. You know, there's. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Wow. How mm-hmm. do I get out of this one? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't miss. I don't miss some of the things that we did back mm-hmm, then, mm-hmm. but I also don't regret some of the things that we did back mm-hmm. then. Because it's like, all oh, that's make me who I am today, and I'm mm-hmm. very appreciative of that. I wouldn't change what I did. Mm-hmm. Knowing now what I know, however, mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't have done all the things that I did. Mm-hmm. But hindsight's always twenty twenty. You probably still would have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just the people I hung I think with. I think that if if twenty twenty were hindsight, I think I would have been a little smarter about the people that I chose to hang out with, but I actually learned a lot from them too. So oh, yeah, I can't think about one person in particular who's no longer with us. He was terrible oh, for me. Oh, he was uh, terrible for me, mm. but uh, oh, that for pers- years and years and years anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, that person that you're talking about is still alive. No, I'm talking about from the person that I hung out. Oh, with. oh, okay. Okay. The same first name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, you, he, I don't, you just say yeah, his name. Yeah, I just I'm mm-hmm. say his name. Mm-hmm. And I think you said his name before. <laughs> I might have, but I'm not going to say his name. Mm-mm. He was very bad for me. Mm-hmm. But he was also very fun. <laughs> everybody, he was, it's what he was the, selling drugs. He, everybody was his friend because he had drugs. Yeah, everybody was his friend because he had drugs. But you and him were friends. Before that. Yeah, before that. Yeah. So that, that's a, that makes a difference. Yeah. You knew exactly what kind of people we met were at, closing up to him. We met at Astroworld. We both worked at Astroworld. Mm-hmm. Back when Astro was a thing. Mm-hmm. I sometimes miss Astro. Every day. But I can never get a job at Astro World. Ever. Oh, different. Three seasons. Oh, my God. My aunt got a job. The first time she, and my, you know, the funny thing was, my aunt took me to the interview so that I could get an interview. And she was sitting in the waiting room. And she's like, oh, I'm just going to fill out an application for fun. And she filled out an application. And she got a job just like that. Whereas I, they told me, well, maybe next year. And I'm like. Motherfucker. But the beautiful thing was is that she got the job, which meant I got free tickets and mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff. So I didn't really. <laughs> yep. So it was a win win. <laughs> That's right. I saw so many concerts. I went to all their parties for when they had parties for employees. We got to ride all the rides. I never had to stand in line for anything. It was, oh my God. I could cry because it was so much fun. <laughs> those, see, those were the days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it, it was, was so much fun. 16 years old. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-mm. If I could tell 16... I met a lot of people back then. Some that I still hang out with. Mm-hmm. I still know pretty well. Mm-hmm. My travel agent. Mm-hmm. Your travel agent. Uh, I'm trying to... Oh, you know, my, my, my best friend from high school recently looked me up not, uh, about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's actually on my Facebook page now. And we actually hung out together maybe once or twice. Um... But uh, we still have one contentious issue that we still haven't worked out yet. And and that was the fact that uh, I had been outed by his girlfriend, and I wasn't ready to be outed. And uh, he moved out like a week later. So I never found out if he, he never really told me whether he moved out because I was outed or he moved out because he needed to move out. So it was always a... That's a dinner and a cocktail conversation. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we had a cocktail and we talked about it. Um, uh, and I don't think we still worked that, that part out yet. So, I mean, he was... he had, uh, When I first met him, he was like this super just geeky kid who walked up to me. I had, I had just... Uh, I think we had, we had been in Houston for couple of years and I was just starting high school and uh, I was walking to school and this geeky kid just came walking up to me and started talking and I had this Oilers jacket on and he started talking about the Houston Oilers and all that and I <clears throat> didn't know a lot about football at the time. Still don't. <laughs> it was still a, it was just an Oilers jacket that my dad got and thought it would look good on me and I'm like okay fine I'll wear it to school whatever and uh, we became best buddies after that. And then he got expelled because he was terrible at school. I mean, he was just completely terrible at school. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
he did not have he was just terrible at everything. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he got expelled and ended up going to an all black school and then he came back as a black person and I'm like, I don't <laughs> how do you go, how do you I don't know how person? that even happened. He just went and, and by the way, this was right at the time when uh which which ice was this? Oh, vanilla ice. <laughs> uh. Was ice doing his ice thing, ice and suddenly, suddenly all these white kids are now doing their thing mm-hmm. as vanilla ice wannabes, and I'm like, oh, Lord, here we yeah, go. I remember that. And here he came. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if he listens to this episode, I'm going to embarrass him by saying that he used to be referred to as Devontae Swing. <laughs> A half black, half white kid from the hood, and he was nowhere near <laughs> Goodness. Now he was poor. Don't get me wrong. He was poor. I, I met his. He was poor, and <clears throat> I thought we were poor. He was poor. So uh, yeah. So he did come from the sticks, but no, he was. He is fully white. <laughs> <laughs> he fooled a lot of people and got me into it by telling everybody that I was his cousin, and you know it could work. It it kind of worked. I mean, uh. I had the skin color, and I'm like, what the hell? So if you want to be my cousin, I guess you're my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. It's the, it's the 90s. Why not? <laughs> so those cousins are one of those things. That is just, oh, yeah, that's my cousin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just convenient. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do, really, that's your that's your cu- really that's your cousin. It's a long story. What else? Move on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my cousin. Move on. <laughs> Oh, I know what I was going to. Oh, Lord. I'm looking at the board and I already knew what I was going to talk about because uh, we were talking. Uh, Billy Porter has become a show favorite. We just we love talking about Billy Porter. That queen. Every time I every time, you know, I am i don't watch award shows. I just watch the red carpet because I'm like, what is Billy going to wear today? <laughs> I have my my glass of wine, a nice little bowl of popcorn, and I'll sit there and I'll just wait. Mm-hmm. She's coming. I know she's coming. What's she going to look she, like oh, now? Mm-hmm. oh, my God. She wore that? Girl, I got to get on the phone. I got to get on social media. I got to talk to people. I can't believe that bitch just wore that, and she looks fantastic. Now, if any other bitch had worn that, they would I would have been like, what is this bitch mm-hmm. thinking? But that bitch, you know what got me? That white hat. That white hat. I think, what, what which, was that the, which awards was that? Was that the Tonys? I think that was the Tonys. I didn't see the Tonys. <clears throat> I just saw the I didn't red. see any of the award yeah. shows this season. I just saw the red carpet. I don't like. I said I don't really watch the award shows that much. They're boring. Uh, and he, that white hat, just I just I gagged. I just went, oh my god, look at this, look at this girl. I want to be her. <laughs> She's. The I hot want that hat. Right now. She's the hot wanna, thing right now. And she ended up on the View as a surprise guest. No one knew she was coming. Uh, they had a Martin Luther King Day episode, and they had a, a choir of kids. Now, I don't know why. I don't know who did this on The View. Uh, why did you separate the white kids and the black kids into two different choirs? That's just weird to me. Martin Luther King was about everybody holding hands. Y'all should have just been intermingling. The You should have just intermingled the whole choir. Why did you have white kids on one side and black kids on the other? That but was on I'm, just recently? Yeah, that was on just recently. You can see it on YouTube. Oh, wow. And I, never Bill, you, I never knew you'd be one who would watch The View. I didn't. I watched it. <laughs> I watched the, somebody said Billy Porter was on The View, and I went, oh, I'm going to YouTube. Oh. Girl, no. I, you, if you want to skip over something, you go to YouTube. <laughs> how That's how I watch all the award stuff. I just go to YouTube. I'm like, oh, Billy Porter, what's she wear? <laughs> And she showed up and sang uh, some song. I can't remember the name of it, but she was just, she blew the audience away. And everybody was just like, oh, Billy Porter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's got a new song out right now. I've got mm-hmm. it on my phone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he, is the, he, is the it, he is the it girl right now. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate, she is going to give me a heart attack because I, I worry about what the next run, the next runway might kill me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Because she just outdoes fabulous. The, mm-hmm. the next runway is, girl, girl, she could, mm-mm. she could out fabulous 
literally every queen on RuPaul's Drag Race if she wanted to. That bitch so, could walk down the runway. And just, mm-hmm. Speaking of RuPaul, you know she's going to be on Saturday Night Live. I saw that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. That's going to be, I'm definitely going to, it's February 8th. Yeah, because J.J. Watt's going to be on February 1st. And, okay, I'm from Houston. And I know the Texans. And I, I, he's such a he's such a man boy, man. but he's such a man boy though. He's hot though. Uh, I'm I used to I love the H E B commercials with his mother before he got the girlfriend. He's a terrible actor. <clears throat> he's a te- oh god, they're all terrible. Oh, athletes are H- terrible. Other H E B commercial where the two guys just in there with like sushi playing. I think that's the Astros, right? Those are the Astros. The Astros. Yeah, those think, guys are so bad. That's they like are commercials. So, oh my it's God. just painful to watch those commercials. Mm-hmm. It's like watching uh on Hulu there's a commercial with um I think it's a, I think it's one of the Geico commercials, I can't remember. Uh with one of the quarterbacks from Kansas City. He is uh, he's a uh, Awful act. I'm like, like oh, my oh, God, why like, am I watching this? Like JJ Watt on Saturday Live is going to be know, so fun to watch. I know. It's going to be so I'm, bad. It's gonna I like, know. Watch a good train wreck. I, I know. Think. But, you know, uh, some athletes have been pretty good on Saturday Night Live. So let's see what's going to happen with JJ Watt because I'm surprised that they even invited him mm-hmm. on to Saturday Night Live. But I'm, I'm happy to see RuPaul going to be out mm-hmm. there. Oh, she's, but I can't wait to. Because she's a mm-hmm. power I'm, force herself. I know. But here's the kicker. I wonder if he's going to be RuPaul Charles or if he's going to be RuPaul when he does his open mind. See, that's what everybody's going to be thinking about. Yeah. Is he going to be RuPaul Charles or is he it going to be RuPaul Mom? Ever to get in drag. I know. So I would be surprised mm-hmm. if he did. Mm-hmm. I'd be surprised if he did any full drag because mm-hmm. it just takes forever. I know. It takes forever. And it's, it's either going to be it's all drag or mm-hmm. no drag mm-hmm. because it would just take. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be able to do it. Doing it live, you know, mm-hmm. so. Ugh, I don't know. I, mean, I, would, I would definitely mm-hmm. want to see it mm-hmm. the next day because you know I don't see it that late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is playing the next day on Hulu, so you'll yes. be fine. It's on Hulu. The mm-hmm. next you day. can watch it in the early afternoon mm-hmm. and be in bed, girl. You know I love you, but I want to say this. Um, you know that I, where I work, um, there are a lot of retirement communities nearby, so we get a little bit of that crowd. Girl, you going to bed at the same time? They are. You are not their I age. Also get up at three a.m. <laughs> you are not this. that. You are no, not I, their age. I know, but I get up at three a.m. I know you have to get up at three a.m. to do your work. But good lord, I'm like, <clears throat> this bitch is in bed at nine thirty when I'm just just getting started in the night. <laughs> I get off of work at ten thirty, eleven o'clock at night. I'm up mm-hmm. until two in the morning. So you know, that's that's my my deal and. You know, Randy. Randy has the annoying habit of calling me at one o'clock in the morning. On a, on a, I love you, Randy, but don't stop doing that. Calling me at one thirty on the Saturday. <clears throat> What's up, girl? Oh, I just want to talk. Girl, I'm in bed. You know, I work doubles on the weekends. Stop calling me. <laughs> like the show's not making the money right now. I got to work. <laughs> kind of like when someone sends me a text at three thirty in the morning. Okay, you were up. <laughs> You had just woken up. I knew that. I knew that when I sent the text. I'm like, this bitch is already up. It's three thirty. It's not three because you would just be rolling out of. You just yeah. be getting up. I figured three thirty. She's probably in the shower. No, uh, or or she's. Walk- I didn't work. Mm-hmm. Remember? Or, I mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. You you sent me a text later, but yeah, I'm like, she's probably in the shower. I have it waking up there, mm-hmm. so and awake. she's gonna make herself a little breakfast and probably watch a little CNN, and then she's gonna head out the door. So I knew the right time to send the text. That's my routine. That's <laughs> my routine. Mm-hmm. So, Miss mm-hmm. White, we are uh, we're pretty much done. We we are Excellent. pretty much done. I had a I had a good time. I did too. I had a good I time. Had a really good time. We always, you know, like I said, you put you put people in front of a mic and they just let their hair down and have a good time. So you got a lot of things coming down the pipe with your with your new website. Mm-hmm. I do have a lot of. Th- look how she jumped. Look how she jumped away from the the subject there. This girl is the master of deflection. <laughs> the website is important. Me, I'm not. Okay, the website is important. Now, now uh, here's the beautiful thing. You don't have to go to 19 different social websites anymore to say, oh, you bitches are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, there's now, like eight different social media mm-hmm. websites. and So now you can probably you can, listen to this in a car and can't mm-hmm. write all of them down. So. Yeah, exactly. 
So now you can just go to littlegaytalkshow.com, and there we are. There's even a player there, so you can listen to our episodes whenever you want. Now, you can't download them. You can just listen to them. Uh, you can still go to the other, wherever you yeah, can you podcast. Yeah, you, you can still, them. like I said, wherever you normally listen to us, that's where we are. So uh, there is, when I, the last time I checked on our, on our speaker page, there are 20 different <laughs> podcast sites that we're on. So really? I'm going to, I guess I'll push one, right? We're on Pandora. So if you want to listen to podcasts on Pandora, please listen on Pandora. We're I on- actually listen on Apple mm-hmm. Podcasts. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of our listeners listen on Apple Podcasts. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to throw Pandora out there because Pandora is a recent one. And I, and Pandora has very high standards for Podcast. I'm like, wow. how did we slip in then? <laughs> somebody was asleep. Good at the lord, wheel, somebody right? was asleep at the wheel because we managed to slip in. Because the last year when I tried, when Pandora first started doing podcasts, they said, "Oh, unless you have a certain amount of of listeners, we're not going to accept you." And I'm like, "Well, that's elitist." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to submit my podcast anyway, and they got rejected. So the second time I did it, I guess, <clears throat> I guess they went. You know, let's just take anybody. <laughs> we're we, we're not just, getting. We're, we're not might getting. Well, just, just, just take this bitch because she's not going to stop sitting in. Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> so I must have sent it like nine times. They finally said, "Okay, sure, why not?" <laughs> said, stop her from sitting in here. Let's just take so, it. So if yeah, of course, Spreaker's our home. So like I said, uh, if you go to little. Get a little, it's little gay talk show. L I L, little gay talk show. Little, 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 little gay talk show. Little, little, like southern, little. See, little. I can't do southern. No, it's little. No T, little. 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 little gay talk show. Okay, I'll let the southern bitches. Little gay talk show. Com. L I A L I L gay talk show. Com. <laughs> there you go. Little gay, little, little gay talk show. Mm-hmm. And you can, you can leave comments about the show. You can talk to us. All that other stuff. I will be still making changes to the website. I basically I have a simple website for right now, but I uh, probably gonna do it. Stay tuned, more to come. So stay tuned, more to come on it, and that's that. So we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. Thank you, David, for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Uh, Good time. I'm sorry that the show is coming out so late. You know, I usually put the show out at midnight every Thursday so that listeners can catch it all day long, but. Uh, like I said, I had some, uh, um, like life I said, happened. life happened and you know, we still put out a show on Thursday. So bitches don't complain. You still going to get your show. <laughs> you still going to get your show. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.